Hello there, Trevor here from Double Wheel Movies. Right, time for another episode of The 39. That is the 39 successfully prosecuted films um, that were on the Video Nasties list back in the mid 80s. Uh, there will be, should be a link at the end of the screen, uh, in the end screen, to the playlist of all the episodes so far. Um, I think this is episode 23. <coughs> time for one of the more nasty films on the video nasty list um, and it is the Nazi exploitation film Gestapo's Last Orgy. Um, it does have quite a few other names um, I think one of them is Caligula reincarnated in Hitler something like that. Uh, so this is a US import um, 88 films could not get permission to um, release this film uncut in the UK so it is still banned um, now that's saying something that uh, you know however many years on um, 40 odd years on uh, some of these movies are still banned and not allowed to be seen in the UK uncut um, so that kind of adds to Bumper and I watching this that uh, essentially you know we're watching something that's not really allowed in the UK um, but it's easy just to import these things um, and you know there's not really much they can do about it is there so uh, anyway I've got bumpers notes in front of me so let's have a look and see what he thinks right so he's got a little overview um, a holocaust survivor revisits the concentration camp she was tortured and abused in years prior whilst scheming a revenge against her main antagonist Yes, so um, the very, very beautiful uh, Danielle, I think it's Poggi, P-O-G-G-I, she's Italian, so this is an Italian film. Um, she arranges to meet the commandant of the camp that she was held at, and um, he he's kind of goes along with it because he had a thing with her during her time at the camp. Um, he basically tried to, to break her, to, to, to get her to cry, shout, scream, yell, fight back, whatever, and she just wouldn't. Um, and it's really, really annoyed him. Um, but uh, it's not just about that. There are some pretty gruesome scenes. Um, basically, it's a sex slave camp, and uh, they brought in lots of Jewish girls, you know, some very pretty Jewish girls. Um, and But at the time, the Gestapo and uh, the soldiers that are be given free reign of these ladies, um, you know, see them as the lowest of the low. And, uh, you know, that was one of the really dark sides, very, very dark sides of World War II. Um, so you do see some, some of them sort of getting gassed and, uh, and yes, there are abuse scenes. There's scenes where they get dipped into this, kind of a, a acidic solution and, and that sort of stuff um, but there's of course the infamous um, dining scene and uh, before I go any further I'll get through the three questions that we have for these episodes and the first one is does it feel like watching a video nasty and Bumper says no not necessarily the remaster work is great by 88 films uh, and minus the atrocities could pass for a well-made war movie um, of the time. Um, now, yes, the picture is exceptionally good. Um, and to me, a video nasty is crusty. Um, but despite that, I would say to me, this does feel like watching a video nasty. Um, and the fact that it's still banned today uh to me it sort of reiterates why it was banned um it is an uncomfortable watch uh and actually i found the lovely picture took me out of of what was on uh the screen um and i think this is what's happened to bumper that he's found it as uh you know a very good um very well made disc um, and clearly the source material that was used, it was a 2K scan, 
um, was in very, very good condition. Uh, anyway, next question. Should it be a video nasty? Bumper says, oh yes, uh, this is probably the worst one yet. People bathing in other people's excrement is about the tip of the iceberg on this one. Absolutely gross. Yep, um, the soldiers are shown uh, a pornographic film and uh, they're basically showing and degrading uh, the ladies that are there um, and what state they're in. Um, and it's, yeah, it's pretty grim. I mean, you can see it's, it's chocolate. <laughs> um, thankfully, uh, so it's, it, it doesn't seem as bad to watch, but when they're implying what it is, uh, yeah, it's pretty grim. Um, so yeah, I would say this definitely should be a video nasty and it, it's, um, to me, it's one of the epitomizing films of a video nasty. Uh, so the next question, should a modern day horror fan check it out? Bumper says, uh, it depends. If you like shock horror, then go for it. But this movie is repulsive in every level, so tre tread carefully. Um, yes, it is. Uh, so if you're used to things like Saw and stuff like that, um, there's not really much gore, so yeah, um, and there's not many implements and things used in the film, um, so it's not really going to do you're not going to be too bothered but um if you don't like the way um the women get treated in this film and what it's about then yes i would tread carefully um but just remember it is of a time and of a certain group of humans that thought this way um so it is portraying actual events even if they're not like strictly true um but things like this definitely did happen um and that's kind of what makes this film quite as infamous as it is um then bumper finishes off with a little summary um i'm really not sure what to say about this movie because a bit like some other extreme horrors it's um it's, oh, it's competently made bloody big words bumper <laughs> it's competently made with good acting but the stuff on show is just vile um, the first hour is just a barrage of bad taste everything from rape torture and cannibalism it's all here yes it is it doesn't hold back um once the the couple meet up at the camp um and they have a, a bit of a wander around and you start to see flashbacks and then it just kicks off um, you're back in 1940s um, and uh, yeah it, it just kicks off basically um, so Bumper finishes off uh, unfortunately the movie never quite gives us the satisfactory payoff for all the disgusting stuff it puts us through but I did enjoy it in a weird way um, if you've seen uh, Salo then I imagine this is of a similar ilk. Um, I haven't seen Silo or Salo or whatever it is. Um, I'm not sure I want to really, because I think from what I've heard, it's a little bit beyond what this film is. Um, so Bumper score is five out of 10. Now I can see why he says he enjoyed it. Um, I think the, and that's part of the reason we're doing this series, the experience of watching a video nasty and this being one of the nastier ones like Cannibal Holocaust and Cannibal Ferox. Um, and I think, you know, there's a few coming up that are, are gonna be like this as well. Um, it's given us that satisfaction. I'm watching a video nasty, even though Bumper says it doesn't necessarily feel like watching one because it looks so glossy. Um, so I think if we were to watch what I call a crusty version, um, I think, uh, we'd be more impressed as a video nasty, if you see what I mean. Um, so yes, in a weird way, he enjoyed it. And for that same reason, I enjoy it. It's World War II. Um, 
you know, I'm very aware there are atrocious things that happened in World War II. It's not all about the, the, the glory days like the Battle of Britain, um, where, you know, a pilot shoots another pilot down, but they never see their face or anything like that. Uh, soldiers blowing soldiers up, they're, they're firing rounds from um, hundreds and hundreds of yards or even miles away and not seeing the people that they're killing. Um, you know, we might get to see what happens to those people. Um, but when you when you start doing this on a humane level or, or an inhumane level um, and we're doing it to each other face to face, that's that's when it, it's, um, you know, it's not it's not right. Um, you know, I don't watch it and go, yeah, I watch it and think, well, that's a really good representation of what I think went on. Um, so well done to the Italians for putting this film together. Um, so I will give it, I think, seven out of 10. Um, I think if ever a 4K was done of this, I think it would need more contrast and a slightly darker picture. Uh, <clears throat> certain scenes look too much like a studio and were too well lit. Um, so it wasn't giving off the right mood. Um, not all of it, only some scenes. And uh, I think a darker, moodier picture would um, probably make it a little bit more horrific to watch, actually. Um, but, you know, if they're going to put those things on film, then you need to present them correctly. Um, so I'm not entirely sure. And I've said this about Blu-rays before. They are too bright, uh, plain and simple. So anyway, that's the end of that episode. Um, obviously, the next episode is on Bumper's channel. So... Um, if you like that little uh, run through, give this video a like, um, but also equally, when you watch the uh, videos on Bumper's channel, give them a like, because he does a great job as well. Um, I'm not blowing my own trumpet. I like to think I do quite a good job of these videos, but um, we, we've learned more as we go along and perhaps talk a little bit more than we did in the earlier ones. Um, but you know, that's, that's what it's all about. We're on this journey together and uh it's it's fun doing it so i believe the next one is house on the edge of the park um so i have that on 4k i think bump has that on blu-ray um, but that'll be on his channel so uh go and make sure you subscribe to bumper and um uh, same for me if you're following this or if you've just stumbled across this like I said, there are 20 odd other episodes already done and they're in a playlist that you should see on the end screen. Um, I'm now waffling, so I'm going to shut up and say goodbye. Take it easy.